Greetings and welcome. In this second video demonstrating Quickfire Pro, I would like to go over some of the parameters with you and also explain how you can use the program with stops and profit targets. We explained in the last video how entries are signaled, but we really didn't go over how exits occur and how the entries are closed out. It's really quite simple. Once the entry has been made, it's made at a certain distance away from the predictor. Well, because we know that the price is going to attract back to the predictor at a certain point, we exit the trade as soon as the price equals or crosses the predicted value. The predictor is designated by a zero line in this case. So going back to our marker, we see that this yellow line is actually the zero line and effectively is the predictor in comparison to the difference between the price and the predicted value. The difference between the price and the predicted value again is the error which is signified by this blue line. So the yellow line corresponds to the predicted value. We just normalize it. So that is why the line has a value of zero. Now if we want to add stops, which we do have in this particular system, it's a simple matter. We just pull up our strategy inputs. We'll format this strategy here. And now we can see the entire range of inputs that Quickfire Pro uses. As you can see here, we can specify the price that we use, whether it's closing price open, high, low, or some combination thereof. We can select a specific predictor out of the five. The fitness period, this is the number of data points that we use for the predictor, at least the starting value of the of the uh, predictor data points. The forecast period is how far ahead into the future we look. We can change that to two, three, four, five steps. However, bear in mind that the further into the future you try to predict, generally the less reliable the prediction is. Use dynamic prediction. We almost always use this function. This allows you to dynamically select the best predictor or most fit predictor rather based on what the attractor correction model is demonstrating. Use round, this just rounds off to the nearest tick. Uh, use market orders. This allows you to select whether or not the signal goes out as a market order or as a, or as a limit order. And use profit targets. You can turn this on and specify how many ticks you wish to set for a target. The zero this is set to false. What this means is that we are not going to exit the trade if the error comes back and touches zero. Crosses zero is true. This means that we are going to exit the trade if the error comes back and actually crosses over the zero line. We set the value of the market we're trading here and we can use a stop by simply typing true in use stop the stop loss is based on a dollar value, so in this case we have a $50 stop. And use dynamic markers. Uh, I explained this in the earlier video. This activates the markers that change dynamically based on the attractor correction model. You can turn those off so that the markers are fixed. And this is the marker value. This is the minimum that we're willing to accept on each trade. Now, sometimes we'll get less than that but that's the minimum that we're striving for. The ACM marker, I'll explain this in the next video and this also works in conjunction with the memory bank and the observation period. The start time allows you to, to specifically set a time as to when the system will start trading and the end time does the opposite. It allows you to set a time when it will specifically stop trading. 